Alright guys, uh, it's Boxing Evolution TV, I'm Flav and I'm joined here by pro boxer Danny Cassius Connor. How are you doing Danny? Yeah, not too bad mate, not too bad. Just getting ready for the, for the show today. Some uh, good fights on. Who, I don't, who is this guy? Christian Lake is fighting today. the amateurs you weren't a bad kid to be fair Christian Lake obviously been on the scene for, for a few years now when he going around to fight to anyone I think he's at the most about like the, he's the most active journeyman in the UK over the last two years he's, a, he's not a bad kid not, he's awkward I mean makes it really awkward you don't throw an awful lot but he's like he's really hard to tag clean as you can, as you can see here I've seen him a few times now and uh, he's not a bad boxer at all by far. Um, I didn't actually know that he was uh, a journeyman like you said. And looking by the fight now it doesn't look like he's uh, come to lose either. Just what I mean, he's getting the jab out there, he's throwing the floor. Apologies, his staff here at the Bethnal Green, they just don't know how to behave, do they, Danny? Uh, yeah, like I said, Christian, yeah, he's come out, he's, he look, he's looking a bit active today, he's throwing, he's throwing a, getting the jab out there and being busy with the jab, but I'd take that Makoda, I think he looks, looks the more quality, definitely doing the better work, getting the jab out there and uh, making Christian miss himself, which I don't see, quite, which I don't see too often. That round to uh, to Makoda, the the, day, the debut. I think this is his first fight, um, Makoda. But yeah, I gave that round to him definitely. A good little show today, actually, ain't it? A few decent bouts. Yeah, this Makoda, he's a. Uh, he drew his first bout with Ben Wager. And I tell you what, Ben Wager, he is a top. Top, top fighter. He, uh, give Tom a stalker a proper hard fight, and he's. Uh, I think he won a, won, a, won a title in his last fight. Uh, ben Wager, a master title wide break round in the fight before. He got Tom stalker, and he give him, he give him life and death in that fight. So this Makoda, he's obviously, he's not in there to make up the numbers. He's there, he's here to win the fight, no matter what his record says. You know, one draw or one draw. He's uh, fairly, fairly new to the pro game. I don't think the style is it, but he looks a, a 
boxing on the play road, that's a bit more tight up to uh, going out and fight, to be fair. But uh, Christian Lake, he is definitely, Christian Lake is like, uh, he likes the box, like I said, so the styles, they, they don't look great for him to be fair. For those of you that have uh, just joined us, we've started streaming now. There's a couple of technical difficulties, so apologies. So we missed the beginning of that first bit, but we're all good and going now. Joined here by Danny Cassius Connor, who's also a pro boxer, but he also loves to do the commentating just as much. That's it, brilliant. What I love. Anyone who loves to box, knows a bit about boxing. We've got, we've got to talk about it. We're good at talking. We talk about the shit usually, but hopefully we've got to enjoy my expertise today. Yeah, that, that jab, it, that, that jab. Makoda's sort of got that, li that lead low hand style. Leans back out of range quite a bit. Flicks that jab up and trying to keep light on his toes or whatever, which you don't usually see with Christian Lee. Everyone usually tries to, to pressure him because of obviously his style. But um, Makoda's boxing his head off here, really. He's making a miss, pinging him with that jab taking his time picking his shots really really well looks a looks a good looks a good acquisition to the pro ranks like I said Christian late don't really don't really come to win a lot comes to sort of spoil and looks busy but he's not really doing a great deal moves around flicks the jab Moves around again. There's no, there's not really much in Christian late shots. Makoda's two rounds up easy here. Pissing the fight. Doing, doing double well here. started here. Makoda is back on the jab again. Making late miss. Good right hands as well. Can't seem to miss to be honest. Late switch to southpaw stance now. And back. Like I said, everything that Christian Lake does is sort of, it's all to buy a bit of time, you know what I mean, get through the round without taking too much punishment, without shipping too much punishment. Christian Lake's had over, over 150 fights, close to 200, so you don't have that many fights in the pro game without, uh, without picking up a few tricks, just as a nick a bit of time, but loads of little feints, switch back to Southpaw again, just what he does all the time, busy, keeping busy. Slipping and throwing the odd jab just to keep them guessing still. But look, switching stance, little movements, keep people thinking. The brilliant journeyman, he's a master of his trade, really. Yeah, it's all, all Makoda, really. See it don't stay on the ropes for too long. Keeps it moving. Back on the jab again. It's good work from Makoda, really. Another round to him. Christian Lake just doing what he usually does, making it making it look like he's busy, making it awkward, switching stances, keeping everyone guessing about what's going on. But really, it's all just Makoda. It's a 
Christian knows why he's in there. You know what I mean? This is this is part of the part of the boxing game. But yeah, another round, three rounds to nil to Makoda for me. Going into the fourth, I'd like to see him step it up a little bit if he if he could. And but you know he's just moving around, keeping it easy. Which not getting hit, which really that's the name of the game in boxing, ain't it? Get hit and not get hit. So he's done that really well. I don't really think Christian's even landed a shot, to be fair. Everything Makoda does is brilliant. Like he's uh, that jab's really good. It reminds me a bit of Patrick Mendy, to be fair, from Reading, who won the uh, prize fighter. But yeah, he just sort of good jab, sets everything up off of that jab. He's got that lead low left hand, really low, which obviously he needs to try and clear that up, and try and get a bit tighter with the defence. Someone like Christian Leigh is not going to. Uh, they're not going to. He's not going to exploit that because obviously he's just there he's just there to to pick up a check caught with a nice right hand there look see same tactics dropping his hands look see they're not doing too much but looking busy doing it that's a that's the name of the game with christian Lake. it's uh definitely seems that late is uh countering or trying to counter um, and the other one's bringing it forwards, bringing the fight forwards to him. You know, I see with Christian Lee, I don't, even if he doesn't, he doesn't even try and do anything really. Like he just looks, tries to look busy doing nothing. But that's, that's the art of being a good journeyman. He don't, um, he's not there, he's not in there to win the fight. He's just in there to sort of pick up his money, move around, give the kid a workout. And that's basically what, that, what he's done this fight shipped a few shots but he's not really been caught clean with a lot the jab has been a good punch for Makoda but everything else really is uh nothing Christian Lee hasn't really come with anything himself look not doing too much but easily Makoda's easily won that for me four rounds to zero four rounds to no 40 36 Christian Lee picks up another another loss on his 200 odd fight slate but he's happy with that he don't care he's getting paid and he's going back to wherever he's come from unhurt and if he'll probably fight again next week do you know what i mean that's, that's what it's all about this this boxing game for the journeyman at least he's getting plenty of money eh? yeah exactly and he mate he is when you think about it say he's getting a grand a fight and he's had nearly 200 fights it's not too bad is it i think i might start having to get into it <laughs> do you know what i mean yeah he's doing well I'm going to have to uh, do an interview with you at the end, Danny, as well, about uh, what's going on with yours and Michael Devine's yeah. fight. And uh, I've seen what you said on Facebook about him uh, possibly pulling out of the rematch. But uh, we'll cover that later after this boxing. But I'm looking forward to hearing what you've got to say on that. Top man, thanks for that, mate. So everyone, stay tuned. <laughs> Just about to get the decision now from... Uh Len Woodall. 40 36 to Makoto. his first win there so that's a you know big win for him there one and oh one and oh we're one draw now like i said